It's desperation time for your New England Patriots as they take on the New Orleans Saints in week number five in the National Football League. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Patriots Today, where we will preview this game, go over my keys to victory, the injury report, as well as my prediction at the end of the show. The Patriots, it's looking pretty bleak right now. The Saints, not too hot either. Both of these teams Badly need this win, and not just the battle on the field, but off the football field is pretty intriguing this week. As here on Patriots Today, we're taking on Trace Girard and Saints now in a sub-battle this week to see who can pick up the most new subscribers on our respective channels. Saints now with a slight edge with 46 new subscribers. We're at 42. Pats fans, get in there. Subscribe now. Let's beat Saints now and new subscribers. We'll get started with today's show. We begin with the injury front, and it is a loaded list of major injury news for your New England Patriots heading into Sunday. You know about Matthew Judon and Christian Gonzalez. Both those guys are out indefinitely with their injuries. Judon with the biceps injury, Gonzalez uh, with the shoulder injury. It's going to be a while before we see either one of them anytime soon. But that's not all. Uh, most notably, Ramadre Stevenson with a thigh injury. He, uh, among about 10 players who were limited in practice on Wednesday, Ty Montgomery, Sean Wade, Christian Barmore on this list. Also, Riley Reef potentially able to make his return this weekend. Something to monitor as he comes off the pup list uh, with that knee injury. He was limited in practice on Wednesday. Cole Strange, Jonathan Jones. Uh, among others here, uh, Trey Fowlers as well with that uh, foot injury limited as well. Now, for the New Orleans Saints, their injury list is quite quite lengthy as well. Uh, here is uh, the details from Wednesday's uh, did not practice list. Jawan Johnson, Lonnie Johnson, Jimmy Graham. It's been a while since we've said his name. Uh, among those that did not practice, uh, Brian Brzee, the Saints' first-round pick, also on this list. And then Derek Carr. With a shoulder injury, limited in practice. The expectation is that he is likely going to give it a go this weekend, though. So we'll see uh, with Derek Carr there. Also, Foster Moreau, Eric McCoy on this list. So a lot of injuries on both teams going into Sunday. Bottom line is this. Everyone's banged up. Injuries are not ex an excuse for not winning this football game. I don't want to sit here on Sunday night and be reading through the comments section and people making excuses saying, well, the Patriots were too banged up. Saints are pretty banged up themselves as well. It's every man for themselves. It's survival mode. What do you got? Next man up. What's the final score going to be? You know, I got my prediction coming up later in the show. What about you? Tell me who wins, what the final score is in the comments section of today's show. Now, keys to victory. What's it going to take to get a Patriots win over the New Orleans Saints? I got five things to watch for on Sunday for New England to get the job done. Let's start with the offense. Offense. Will you do something? Anything. Please. Mac. Ramadre. Anything. Literally. Passing. Running. I I'm, I'm desperate at this point. I just want them to do something well. Because right now they're not doing anything well offensively. You guys know the do something meme. Here it is, customized for your New England Patriots. Fact of the matter is this. Right now, this offense stinks. It's not good. They're struggling in everything they do. Their one win they've had this year, they scored 15 damn points. That's not going to fly. I like Bill O'Brien. I think he's a good offensive coordinator. But... Uh, with that said, Bill O'Brien has to do a better job game planning to get these guys in position to get touchdowns. You can't start slow. you got to capitalize in the red zone. The numbers, all of it is bad. Uh, we showed you those numbers from the team stats. Mac Jones' numbers took a big drop this week after his dreadful performance against the Dallas Cowboys. Four picks, five touchdowns, less than 64% completion percentage. Everybody as a whole. I know a lot of blame's been put on Mac this week, and rightfully so, but there's blame to go around for everybody for the way this offense is playing right now. 
everybody's got to do their part to improve and get this offense back on track. Who is the most to blame? Is it Mac? Is it Bill O'B? Is it the offensive line? Play the blame game. Be honest with me. Tell me in that comment section who it is. Number two on keys to victory for New England is creating turnovers. Now, we have spent a lot of time on this program talking about how good this New England Patriots defense is. And uh, you lose Matthew Judon and Christian Gonzalez, and you try to figure out what does this defense need to do from here without those guys. And it's not just even Matthew uh, Matthew Judon and Christian Gonzalez. Marcus Jones, uh, not part of the equation. And those are two guys, uh, the only ones that have forced turnovers for this Patriots team. That is it. Someone, somebody show up and go take the football away. Get that extra possession because your offense needs every possession they can get at this point. And as far as the Saints go, as we point the other direction and scout this New Orleans Saints team, since 2021, did you know the Saints are 0-8 in games when throwing two or more interceptions tied for the worst in the NFL? You know me, I'm not a fan of Derek Carr. Every time he cashes a paycheck, he's stealing money. And the recipe, whether they face Derek Carr or Jameis Winston this week, is to create turnovers and to get those interceptions. And with no Christian Gonzalez involved, there's one guy in particular I have my eyes on to step up to get the job done and create said turnovers when it comes to interceptions in particular. Watch out for my guy, Kyle Duggar. So far this season, he's off to a good start. 15 total tackles in last week's loss against the Cowboys. He played well. His PFF grade is solid, 72.4. Anytime you have a grade above 70, you'll take that. And last year, one of the things that made Kyle Duggar so special was that he was third on the team in interceptions. He had three for the season, and he has not created a turnover yet. Played good so far, but I need to see Kyle Duggar Be the guy. He's the one I'm looking to to make that extra play to get the offense, the football, one more time. Kyle Duggar, let's see what he can do. Don't sleep on Kyle Duggar. Today's show is brought to you by BetUS, the exclusive sportsbook partner of Chat Sports. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet, enter the promo code chat125, you will get a 125% deposit bonus. Put $100 down, you get $125 to spend for free at chatsports.com slash bet. The odds for Sunday, the Patriots, a slight favorite. This line has been bouncing around a lot. So if you're feeling pretty good about your Patriots, just go ahead and not only take the money line, but take them to cover as well. Over-under is at 39.5. You could bet on this game as well as other action across the National Football League at chatsports.com slash bet. You know that promo code chat125 for your 125% deposit bonus. Number three in our keys to victory is shutting down the Saints' run game. The Saints have Alvin Kamara back in the equation, which should be a big relief to them, but they aren't necessarily running the football particularly well so far to this point in the season. And a big reason why is that they don't have uh, much help on that offensive line. Their tackles, uh, you know, Trevor Penning in particular, those guys are struggling Uh, when it comes to run blocking. And if you're the New England Patriots and you're game planning for this New Orleans Saints team, you need to be able to stop the run and take that away from New Orleans. Because if they can find a way to get the run game going, then things are going really well for the New Orleans Saints. Do what you can to continue to slow that down. Think about this when you talk about the New Orleans Saints. Their run grade is about 66.2. That's the ninth lowest in the league for their entire team. They're averaging just 87.5 yards per game. That's the eighth lowest in the NFL. They are really struggling. I mean, hell, their leading rusher is Taysom Hill, who I don't even know what position Taysom Hill is anymore. Is he a quarterback? Is he a tight end, H-back? Whatever he is. He's not a damn running back, I can tell you that much. And he's leading them in rushing with 101 yards. Maul Williams with 74 yards. Tony Jones with 70. Alvin Kamara, 51 This team has been struggling running the football. Continue to take away that run game because I like my odds of Derek Carr or Jameis Winston, whoever's under center, trying to beat me with their arm. I'll go with the Patriots every time in that case. Who's a player that needs to have a big game? I said Kyle Duggar earlier. What about you? Drop him. Name him in the comments section. Let me know.
Let's talk special teams now. And the Patriots made some big changes this offseason in the special teams unit, bringing in rookies Chad Ryland as well as Bryce Barringer. But what we've seen through the first few weeks of the season is that this group has been particularly sloppy. And when you are one and three, and you're not a good football team right now, you cannot afford for your special teams unit to be making more mistakes, to make matters even worse and more difficult for everybody else. This is a unit that, quite frankly, should be one of the strengths of this team, that should have their I's dotted and their T's crossed. Just looking back the last few weeks, think about what's going on. Chad Ryland missed a 52-yard field goal last week against the Dallas Cowboys. You're, you've had holding calls uh, on punts, which, I mean, that's just a killer. And then you had times where you were, if you go back to that Cowboys game, out of position on a fake PAT attempt, which is just mind-boggling. you got to be more aware than that. And then the return game has been quiet. Without Marcus Jones involved here, these guys aren't getting what they need to of that extra field position. So special teams has got to clean things up, uh, which I don't think personally is asking too much from this group to be able to do. Last on the list, but not least, play loose. I know things aren't good. The vibes do not feel that well in New England right now with losing two of your top defensive players with a 1-3 and three record and everything. But the best thing you can do about next week is forget about uh, last week and not worry about it. It sucked. No question about it. But if we've learned anything over the years, the NFL is a week-to-week league, and you can't let what happened to you previously stand in the way of the upcoming week. you got to put that behind you and focus head on this week because if they're st- still thinking about the Dallas Cowboys, then they'll be losing to the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Josh Uche, uh had this to say about the Cowboys' loss and where this team's going from here. I thought he made a very good point when speaking to the media this week. It's the next game, next opportunity, next chance to get a taste out uh, of our mouth type stuff, next opportunity, next game. And think about this. Uh, the Patriots, over the last few years, Bill Belichick's done a very good job uh, when it comes to responding in those get-back games, right? Uh, since 2021, the Patriots are 10-1 and after a loss as favorites. Slight favorite this week. But history tells us that they're good at responding and that Belichick should have this team's attention. That's the best record of anybody in the NFL in that stretch. So with that said, put last week behind you. Get ready for this week. Go guns to blazing here. Predict the score. I got my prediction in just a matter of seconds. What is yours? Who wins? What's the final score? Drop it in that comment section and let us know. So to recap, our keys to victory for New England. Offense, got to do something. The do something meme, wake up. Got to create some turnovers, get that offense an extra possession or two that could be a game changer. Shut down the Saints' run game. Saints are not a good running football team. Take your chances at Jameis or Derek Carr or whoever's under center trying to beat you. Clean up the little things on special teams. Play loose. Don't worry about last week. Focus on the present. Patriots do these things. I like the Patriots to get back in the win column this week. Uh, I'm not expecting them to light the world on fire offensively. But I think that they could beat New Orleans. I don't think the Saints are that good. I got the Patriots 17 to 14. They moved to two and three, and the season stays alive for now. Subscribe to Patriots today. We'll have post game coverage for you coming up on Sunday afternoon. We shall see you then. Thanks for joining us here on Patriots today. 